As digital interaction permeates our everyday life, uh, it becomes more imperative uh, to design technologies and systems which are user-centered, meaning that they are not only understand users, the needs, expectations, and their differences, they're also able to respond uh, to those differences accordingly and also uh, be intuitive, uh, be accessible, and be adaptive. Data center computing is a very broad field and it's really developed over the last uh, 40 years. Uh, once computers were brought into day-to-day -day use, uh, people started to realize that the interaction that we have with them is a very challenging uh, subject of inquiry. So as we started to see more personal computers evolve, mobile computers, people having wearable computers, the, 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 the entire subject area of human-centered computing has expanded. UNSW Human Centered Computing, we have uh, 12 uh, internal academics and four external academics working on this research area. Uh, one sort of point example is work that we've been doing, and a number of people have actually been integrating into this work, is work using uh, both radar and computer vision techniques to actually identify and recognize objects. And now it's been basically kind of uh, baked into follow-on projects that are, are now uh, being deployed in industry. We are working on uh, mental health and well-being, so how we can use human behavior to understand mental health, to understand well-being. We have um, projects around uh, gesture-based interactions and probably from the examples I gave uh, might be clear, there are many different um, um, skills involved, so we need uh, knowledge from social science, we need knowledge in psychology basically to uh, make uh, this a reality. So the needs and challenges that people face with uh, human-centered computing is today computing is becoming part of the fabric of day-to-day -day life, uh, so much so that every aspect of the human existence basically is, now has the capability to be supported by computation. The aim of human-centered computing essentially is to further meshing that boundary between the physical world and the digital world. And as the interaction, the digital interaction increases in our life, which is absolutely the case, that means that we need more and more uh, people working uh, in this area. We need people with interdisciplinary skills that they would be able basically to provide solutions that uh, enhances our experience as we interact uh, with uh, digital systems. Human centered computing is uh, growing here and across Australia and internationally. Um, I see more opportunities uh, than ever for the researchers in, in computer science to interact with uh, human-centered computing. So if we take people uh, like Gelleray who are working on emotion recognition, or Don who's working on wearable computing, we have PhD students looking at topics related to virtual reality, augmented reality. Generally what we're trying to do in many of these scenarios is trying to come up with very discrete ways to interact with humans. And what we're kind of keen on doing in UNSW is showing um, the potential of this type of research and then connecting with other research challenges across the university uh, and interconnecting our research both within computer science but within engineering more broadly and society at large.